and welcome back to Ballincraig Estate. Uh, I'm Eddie. This is my vlog, and it is, uh, or today is April the 29th. It's about a week since uh, I last did a video, and uh, and and we fertilised the uh, field at the end. So we're going to be seeding it today with some wheat. Uh, and uh, but first we need to fill it with some seeds. So I need to jump on here and just open it up. There we go. And uh, then we will get the massey and, uh, and get this pallet of seeds on here. This should be enough to do the field. I'm not expecting it to take any more than this. Ooh. There we go. I'll just load this into the back and... Uh, yeah, we never really require much more than this. Oh, there we go. Oh, we need to make sure we're getting in. There we go. Ah, oh, in fact, it uh, it doesn't... Yeah, there we go. It doesn't take the entire thing anyway. So we're going to leave the Massey here, actually. Just with this on the end. Or this left on the forks. Because it may be that we need some more of it. We are nice and full with the wheat seed. Close that up. Start up the tractor. Right, we need to lift up. There we go. And away we go. So yeah, this will be uh this will be quite good, this. It's a nice sunny day to be doing this as well. Should be in the right time of the year to get this in. So turn it on. Yeah, there we go. Right, I need to get my marker out. There we are. We're not right up to the edge. But that can sometimes not be a good thing anyway. So. That's all good. Especially on this field where we're looking to... Um, where we might need to drive down the side for the grass. Uh, turn around. There we go. that so yeah this will be a nice field of wheat we'll get lots of straw off it which will be very useful we've got to go and pick our uh, our order of straw is down at the shop so i need to go and pick that up uh which i will probably do tomorrow i think I won't, we won't do it today on this uh so it'll be here next time for when we need it next time we're going to start on the hay we've got to we want to make some hay bales ourselves uh, we've got one left, which should just for now. But it will cause us an issue in a bit. If we're uh, if we're not in a position where we can feed the cows. Okay. So keep that on the left hand side of the uh, of the bonnet and that will give us a nice straight seed. Quite good. And we're, we're, we've got decent width on this so this shouldn't take us too long. It's not, this isn't a big field we've got here. It, it kind of, kind of does us enough for the year but for expanding the farm. We're going to need something a little bit bigger, I think. I have got my eye on a, a couple of fields that are available. Uh, and that should work well. And on the other side of the cows there would be a good field for, for arable. But I want something a little bit flatter, actually. We've got There's a couple of meadows down there that are ripe for turning into arable. 
Because we already have we already have more than enough grass uh, in the farm. So uh, yeah. Field six, uh, the far side, I'm looking to buy. <coughs> Partly because I've got an agreement in there at the moment that allows me to keep all my equipment uh, in it. So I want to, uh, I want to sort of add a little bit of shedding along the side or something. But obviously, it not being my field, I can't do that at the moment. We've still got that one out. Check. Oh no, we yeah, did have it. There we go. Want to make sure we got the marker on the right side. Otherwise, it will undo all the good work we're doing with this seeding. Which is going along very nicely. Go. Keep the marker in the field until we've actually turned. It's always a wise way to go. That way we don't catch on any hedgerows or anything. This tractor might be a little bit of overkill for this cedar, but uh, I've been using the TW a lot recently, and this actually, this, this John Deere is quite a nice tractor to use. And if all I use it for is the ploughing and the cultivating, it kind of, uh, kind of doesn't pay its way, so. There we go. Round. go and we're off again perfect yeah I'm expecting a fairly good deal we've managed to get we've got it um, fertilized before we start uh, we will get uh, we'll probably spray it a couple of times so we'll need to buy some liquid fertilizer for that uh, but it should should produce a good yield, and we get plenty of bales off this, which will last us for ages. And I just need to get the uh, the bales stored, but I have an I have an idea for storing the bales, so that's all good. Right and down. Go. That's we're we're doing this nice and straight. We sort of straightened ourselves out after the first run, and uh, and it means we're actually getting some nice straight rows in on here. It's going to make it a lot easier to work this field with the combine later. It'll make it a lot less bumpy doing this. Uh, the way we got this so that uh, makes me really quite happy it's gonna be it's gonna be a good field to work this this year I can feel it oh dear I don't think we put our guide down last time no we didn't right, there we go it's all right I'm gonna roughly go by the edge of the field or by the edge of the previous one. That will uh, that will give us a pretty good idea. Yeah, that is that is giving us a very good idea. And we've got the tree that we can mark on as well. So properly seeding this. Or seeding this in the proper way. Making sure that we are Oh, we did get a slight we're slightly off track at the top. Never mind. No, 
that's why it's more useful to have the guide. Here we go. And away we go. And we keep the guide in roughly the same place. And we'll try and... There's a slight curve that seems to have crept in. So we'll try and break that kink out as well. Don't really want to do that. There we go. Now this is where it starts to get interesting because we're beginning to get a... Uh, Well, we need to get a bit diagonal now on the headland, so it's going to cause us issues if we're not careful. Right, we need to switch marker, which we've done. And away we go again. Perfect. Yeah, this is this is this is a nice, neat piece of seeding. I'm pleased with this. We're covering the we're covering the field well. We've only missed a very small part, and that's when we forgot to put our marker down. Oh wow! <laughs> he says. I spoke too soon. Wow. Definitely want the wheel to the left of the the marker run. There we go. Otherwise, it just ends up... Yeah. Get the bonnet along that. And it means that we should be okay. There we go. So, uh, yeah, next time, I think, uh, what I will probably do for you guys is uh, get some uh, mowing going. We need to we need to get on to the first cut. Mowing is by far the biggest sort of crop setup we do here. We, uh, we do a large set of... Uh, we do a whole field of hay bales. Uh, and then we do an even bigger field of straw bales. Uh, not straw bales, sorry, of um, silage bales. Because we can sell the silage bales for so much more money. Uh, and it makes us makes us a good amount. When we get at the top here, I need to check on our level of seed. Because I don't want to run out. It's one of those things. Unless I get out and check the cedar, I don't think I have any kind of visual. No, I have no kind of visual representation on the cedar itself. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to jump out quickly and have a look. Open it up. Oh, we've got plenty of seed left. Yeah, we're fine. We got we got enough to get us through the rest of this field. Which is fantastic. Uh means that actually one of those seed bags will do us probably a couple of these fields. Uh, a couple of fields sort of this size. Uh which kinda helps me decide uh where I want to uh expand the farm. Because if I can do it on a single seed bag, then that is going to uh, go great guns. There we go. But we are, uh, yeah, not far from the end of this field now. It's getting thinner and thinner as we go at the moment. The other thing we've got coming up soon is we've got the um, 
the uh, spring fair. So sort of the end of May time. The farmers all around here sort of get together. Show off some of their old equipment. And uh, yeah, not, not too long till that now. It's down, markers down, good. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to get, I've, I've got a, there's a tractor we don't use on the farm that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have out for that. But part of our mowing duties is to, uh, is to cut the field that, uh, that that goes on. So it tends to, it tends to happen during, uh, not too long after we've done that. So that's why it's towards the end of May when we've completed the first cut. So I'm looking forward to that. But, uh, yeah, and then we're and then we're into the summer, where we'll get a. It's not. It's, the summer's quite nice in that it, we tend to get to enjoy around here. I mean, it's calving season, so we'll have a. We should have a load of calves over the summer. But in general, uh, we we basically just uh, maintain the grass, try and get a, a second cut out of it uh, before the harvest. And then, yeah, in autumn we have uh, we have the harvest and we have our final grass cut. So it's basically we do a lot of grass work on here on this farm. But we might, in the autumn, I think we might see if we can expand the arable side of the farm a bit. There we go. Quite a tight turn, this. There we go. And down. And it get, just sort of gets tighter as we get into this corner. Need to move over a bit. Yeah, it's definitely bonnet in line with that, not um, not wheel. Wheel just leads to a uh, gap. There we go. Almost there. <coughs> oh, I've been having a little bit of a, a froggy throat, so I'm sorry. I apologise if I'm not talking as much as I normally do in these vlogs my uh, my throat is it's not quite right today it's one of those uh, springtime colds that sort of creeps up on you that makes makes you feel a bit rubbish but not so bad that you can't do work and anyway to be honest around here nobody else to do the work so we've got to uh, we've got to crack on and it's a nice warm sunny day anyway. So it's not exactly like I'm catching away. My death out here. And bam. There we go. Down. There we go. Right. 
right. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing really short little trips at this point. I think one more and then we'll do the headlands on the way back. Yeah, one more there. Right, I'm not going to worry about the markers anymore. That's not too bad. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. I think. Do this headland pack this way. Hoping my width is about right. Oh no, it isn't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to back up here, otherwise I'm gonna be running over crop when I come to do the second run of this. The end, I think we're all right, but uh, yeah, down the side here, we we definitely need to do a second uh, a second run. That's all right. I'll drive down to the bottom. Just reverse the tracks back up. That way, we don't have to go and turn around on any crop either. And there we go. Just the last bit of headland to do. And then our field it has all been seeded. So yeah, spring wheat in here. Oh yeah, we had to do the same along here. Uh, too much width for us to get with uh, just the one run. We've got through a lot of tyres over the years. Really try and do something about that. Okay. Just quickly. There we are. Now let's get this last little bit done. There we go. Right, I'm going to uh, leave you guys here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And uh, for the latest videos, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.